At the foundation of any object within Vectorworks software is math. Whether simple or complex, math drives every line, vertex, and object within the application. Understanding how to take math that you already know and translate it into Marionette is key in creating powerful and accurate tools via graphical scripting. Rather than adding 2 plus 2 or something like that, we'll start with something a little more advanced, the equation for the golden ratio, phi. Also pronounced phi, but for this demonstration, we'll use phi as the pronunciation. We'll need an input node for each of these values, but also a math node for each individual operation within the equation. Before now, we've provided you with the needed nodes. Now we'll cover accessing the node library directly. In the basic palette, select the marionette tool. In the toolbar, click the drop-down menu that reads Select a Node Definition. We want to enter real values, which will be our input nodes. So select Input from the list, and then the real node. This will activate the real input node. From this point, the marionette tool works much like the door or plant tools. Each time you click, you'll place another node. So place three real input nodes down in the document. Now we need the math nodes. Go back up to the node selection of the marionette tool and choose the math category this time. We have division, addition, and square root operations to cover. So we can start with an add node and a div node, both from the basic math section near the top of the math category. For square root, we'll have to scroll down to the power and logarithmic section in the math category then place one of those nodes in the document as well. To keep with order of operations, we'll start by assigning a value of 5 to one of the real nodes, then connect this node to the x connection on the square root node. Doing this means that the square root of whatever value is set for this real node will be the output of y from the square root node. Since the next step is to add the 1, we can set the value of the second real node to 1, then connect that to the top or bottom connection of the add node. Since add operations treat all input the same, it doesn't matter which of the two connections on the left side of the add node we use. Connect the output y of the square root node to the other empty connection on the add node. So at this point, we've created this section of the full equation. Now, to perform divide by 2 on the result of this portion of the equation, we simply connect the output of c of the add math node to the a input of the div node. With division, of course, which value is which is very important, as opposed to add where it didn't matter. For a div node, a will be divided by b. So now enter a value of 2 for the final real node. Then connect that to b on the div node. There we are. We now have a simple marionette script that represents the equation for phi exactly. Rather than having to enter a rounded version of the number and worry about accuracy later, we know that anywhere we apply this node network 2 as an input will be exactly phi. However, having this mini equation on its own node network is a bit messy, as we won't be changing any of its values again, since we know we got the math right the first time in this case. So, right-click on any of the nodes in this little network and choose Wrap Marionette Network. Now, we have a single simple node. Excellent but it has no connections. This is controlled directly by you. So to fix this, right-click on that new node and choose Edit Script. You'll notice we've entered an editing mode similar to Edit Group or Edit Symbol. This is just to make the editing of nodes within complex node networks easier on the eyes. Any changes we make here will affect the node that we're currently editing. Since we want to be able to see the output connection of our little network, all we need to do is label the last node in the network, the div node. With the div node selected, enter a value for the name field in the object info palette. In this case, name it phi. Now, click Exit Marionette Script at the top right of the drawing area, and you'll see that the node we made now offers an output connector, which would be the exact value of phi. But, this node is still named Wrapper. If we leave all our wrapped nodes this way, Everything will be called wrapper, and it would be difficult to find the portion of your network you wanted to edit later on without checking each one one at a time. To remedy this, we can simply name this wrap node phi as well. Now that that's done, we have a newly made input node, which will input phi as a value directly and exactly into other nodes, the usefulness of which we'll show in the next section, where phi will help us control the shape and size of rectangles that we'll create.